After more than 20 years as a machinist, Dwayne Wilson was promoted into project management, where he began to oversee assignments on vehicle noise and vibration reduction. It was during these projects that he realized that both the materials and the manufacturing going into most modern fishing rods were missing the mark. Or to be more specific, they were missing the vibrations. The vibrations that every angler anticipates with bated breath. Soon what started as a pastime turned into a profession and Dixie Custom Rods was born. So what, how Pretty does much. the rod help? Oh, it's just, it's everything. I mean, it's just, well, it's just like in golf, you know. Or you couldn't use a putter to drive with, or you couldn't use a driver to putt. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you gotta have the right rod for the technique. Right. So how long does making a rod usually take you? Overall, you on. probably got about average, about probably two to and a half hours. And you usually do like two or three at a time. At a time. Right, yeah. right. Okay. But okay. see, this is, yeah, you can look at that. See how smooth that is on yeah. the inside? Yeah. And right here's what the beauty of doing this this way is. Push it up on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That way you got, got any filler at all. Yeah. Because what it is, that filler will absorb vibration. You know, it'll, it'll take the sensitivity away if you've oh, got it. Oh, if you got missing bites exactly. and whatnot. Well, okay. you, can't, you can't, it takes the feel because it's like an insulator. Is this going to make me a better fisherman? Oh, absolutely. All right. Right, okay. absolutely. So now we've we got to mark this. To sit down okay, there. okay. <laughs> for the yeah. front of the reel. So now, the next, next thing you gotta do is find the spine. A, a blank, has got, they call it a spine. Okay. And uh, uh, I've done it so much I can look at them, but I can show you the way you're supposed to do it. All right. And I'll let, well, I'll let you find it, how's that sound? Okay, that sounds good. Put it where it's loose in your hand and, and rotate it. And you can feel one spot in it that it wants to, I call it that it wants to be. I guess you would. Uh, it's a good way to put it. You can okay. kind of feel it settle in. That's just where it wants. That, that's where it. Where it wants to be. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. You just got to be one with the rod. Right. You gotta be, yeah. You're like my Mr. Miyagi and. <laughs> You'll feel it settle in a spot, and, they, and that's you. Can, you can tell. That's where it's. <laughs> So what am I feeling for? I mean, that's well, that's, but I mean, that's just another. When you haze. roll it, you'll feel it. I can, you can feel it good on this one. You'll know this is a little bit stiff for rod. You can tell a little bit easier. You can feel it. Uh, it'll roll, and then it gets a place. It, it, it I don't really know the word for. It. That's why uh, it's best where it I wants could, to be. Right. <laughs> you yeah. feel it kind of settle in. It feels like that's for it. Yeah, yeah, I feel it. <laughs> really? Or <laughs> I don't. I really don't. It, it, I have no idea. Let's, let me see you again. I really don't. Oh, I, you might not be putting enough bend to it. Right, I mean, it's, it's evident on that one so bad. It's, you, it jumps, it jumps oh, in the place. Okay. Put a little bit more bend in it. See right there? I mean, that right there is a It's spot. subtle though, it's subtle. It, no, this here, this one's real evident. You can see it kind of. Jump into play. I mean, when it gets there, it just like. Go it. ahead, pour salt into my wings. <laughs> Try it one more quick time. Put a little okay. bit more. All right. And hold it up a little bit higher at the back. Well, you were kind of doing that. Oh, maybe there that you, was it. that's it. Hey! Right there. That's yeah. a, so you want to mark this to where that is down. So the bottom would be your right here. This is the spine. And that's real important. This is another thing production rods don't do. When you're fighting a fish, yeah. if that spine ain't right, it just don't do. Because they, they don't have some dude like me going, well, they trying don't. to find where it wants well, to be. Well, they don't have you know. time, you know. Yeah, uh, exactly. You know, the big production but rods. But I mean, that's That's crucial. a big deal. That's a big, big deal. Well, now that we found the spine, okay. uh, what's next? this rod gonna last somebody? Oh, it should last forever. Wow. Yeah, yeah it should, uh, should last forever. We just put the epoxy on, you just finish that up, that's 
how long will that be uh, twisting and turning? That's over around, there? Uh, takes about 10 hours total for that to cure. Okay, well can I see a finished rod or one of these? Yeah, let me show you. One of the, the final products. This is actually a, a really custom one I've done for you guys. That's awesome. What do you think about that? That looks great. That's the best one yeah. I've seen. <laughs> now I just got to catch something. Oh, uh, you'll catch them. Them rods will catch fish. You have, you anybody have, use them. Thank you so much, No man. problem. Putting in that extra care and attention means I have that much more of a chance to actually catch something. And now that I have a full tackle box, a pretty sweet fishing rod, and a seaworthy vessel, the last thing I have to figure out is how I actually get everything to the water. But from what I hear, I don't need to travel further than Saudi Daisy to get set up. <laughs>